One of men's biggest mistakes when it comes to women is that they over pursue them. So I'm going to give you the six most common ways men chase women right out of their lives. You hear a lot from coaches that you should never chase women and that's true. But most men completely misinterpret this as not having to do anything and beautiful women will just boom, fall right into their laps. That's not how it works. Men do have to initiate the courtship or even if you're only interested in casual dating. In fact, that's true even if you're just interested in sleeping with a woman. You have to initiate it and take the lead. Is that pursuing a woman? Absolutely. You like her, you're attracted to her, you want to get her out on a date or into your bed. You have to take the initiative and make it happen as best you can. Of course, she has to be on board with that, but if she is, women tend to make it rather easy for you, as long as they like you, of course, and are not on the fence about you. I'm sure that most of you have noticed that when a woman likes you, it's rather obvious. She flirts with you, laughs at all your dumb jokes, affectionately is touching you, and so on. And those are all signs that she wants you to take the lead and make something happen. That's when you make a move or ask her out. By doing that, obviously you're taking the lead and pursuing her, but you're not really chasing her nor over pursuing her. I'm Eric Peterson and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for Skill of Attraction. And if you need my personal help and you're interested in some private coaching, please head over to my website at soa.fm, click on the coaching tab, and there you'll see that I have several options for you to choose from. So how I distinguish between pursuing and chasing is pursuing is doing what I was just talking about. You're initiating romance, sex, or a courtship. But chasing or over pursuing would be when she's showing clear signs of not being interested. She's not ready to move things forward or she's making it difficult for things to move forward. Yet you keep pushing. Chasing or over pursuing is a great way to chase her right out of your life because anytime a woman feels pressured romantically or sexually, she's going to naturally pull away, pull back or simply just ignore you completely. So if she's pulling away or ignoring you, it's usually because you're over pursuing her and you should see that as a sign to pull back yourself and let her reinitiate when she's ready. However, many men let their ego get in the way and they try even harder or they try harder out of fear of losing her. They'll tell themselves things like, you know, maybe I'm not trying hard enough and if I don't, then I might lose her. So of course they lay it on really thick, hoping that she'll notice their heavy investment and reward him with sex and affection. But it's actually having the opposite effect. And just so you're aware, it doesn't matter if you've just met the girl or you're married to her. This is all the same. And I think it's important that you understand what actions you're doing that she sees as over pursuing. So you don't do them at all. This will save you a lot of headaches and worry. Now, there are a lot of ways that you could over pursue a woman, but there are some very common ways that almost all men do. And today I'm going to share six of them with you. So you avoid them at all costs. And like I said, it doesn't matter if she's a new girl or a girl you're married to or a long term relationship you've been with for 20 years. If you chase a woman, she will run in the opposite direction, despite what they say, because they'll often tell you that they love to be chased by a man. And they may enjoy it at first because it's flattering and it validates them, but it will eventually just make her sick with disgust. So number one, texting or calling her too often. Now this is probably the most common way men chase women right out of their lives as it clearly conveys to a woman that she has you. She doesn't have to earn you. She doesn't have to invest in you. She really doesn't have to do anything because she knows that she'll be hearing from you very soon. Now I'm not saying that you should never reach out to her, but you should save a majority of your calling and texting for setting up dates and much less time with mindless chit chat. Dates are forgetting to know each other, not over the phone. Number two, 
wanting to see her too often. Now this could be especially difficult when the potential relationship is new and exciting and it's mostly just making out and having sex. I get it, that's a lot of fun. And who doesn't want that as much as possible? But again, it shows her that she has you. And when women believe that they have you, there's nothing for them to chase. I mean, why would a woman chase after a guy that she already has? You know what kind of men are exciting to women and the, and the men that women chase? Those are the men who are difficult to get a hold of, the men who they rarely see, the men that they have to work for. Think of the so-called bad boys that all women love. Those guys aren't wanting to see their girl every day. In fact, women have to work for them, which is partly what makes them high value and attractive to women. Three, making yourself too available. This sort of falls in line with the first two because it communicates the same thing. She has you. However, it also conveys that you have nothing else going, in your, going on in your life besides her. Women are attracted to men who have purpose and ambition. And when you have that, you don't have time to see your girl whenever she wants. Plus, women need a man who is a little mysterious and challenging. And what's challenging or mysterious about a guy who will drop everything whenever she wants to see him? Also keep in mind that women need space so they can miss you a bit, so they can think about you and wonder about you. This helps in raising their attraction for you. Number four, being a pleaser. So many men have this problem and many don't even realize it. This is essentially when you do whatever she wants in order to please her and keep her happy. Most men get this into their heads that if they just do what she wants, one, it'll be easier, two, she'll be happy, and three, she'll love her more for it. But the truth is, she'll only be happier in the moment, but lose respect and attraction for you in the long term and she certainly won't love you more for it. Although it will be easier this way, but at a very big cost, your dignity and her respect and attraction. So it's not really worth it. And this is a big part of what is referred to as nice guy behavior and women despise it. Now I'm not suggesting that you never do what she wants or that you never do anything to be kind to her only that you do things because you actually want to and not to get something out of it in return. Plus, telling a woman no once in a while will actually raise her attraction for you. It's counterintuitive, but it's completely true. And the fifth most common way you over pursue women is by being her hero. A lot of men have trouble grasping this one. In fact, when I was younger, I was this guy always rescuing women and saving them. And on the surface, it seems like a very harmless, noble thing for a man to do for a woman, rescuing the damsel in distress. However, she sees it as you more or less kissing her ass to get something out of her, whether that be love or sex. It's essentially supplication. And again, nice guy behavior. Now, if she asks you for help, then of course help her. But you, if you're just stepping in without her asking for your help and trying to be her hero, it will have a negative effect on her. And again, that will be in the long term. Initially, she'll like it. And yes, she's going to be thankful in most cases, but eventually she'll take you for granted and expect you to do all of her dirty work for you. She's a big girl and she could take care of herself in most cases. You know, maybe give her suggestions or connect her with someone who can help her out, but never do it for her unless she asks. And finally, number six, being relationship focused. I actually made a video about this exact topic very recently. I recommend you check out that video. Men get confused about this one because we always hear that women want a commitment from a man. And when we like her, we just give it to her oftentimes without her even working for it. Additionally, many men get focused on the relationship out of fear of another man coming along and snatching her up. They believe that if they lock her down into a commitment, that she's now his and she's off limits to other men. 
Now, I remember dating this girl years ago who I was just completely enamored with, and she was this gorgeous little blonde thing, and I clearly remember thinking to myself, I got to lock this girl down so no other guy gets her. And you know what happened? I quickly tried to lock her down, and I ended up getting the let's just be friends speech. I mean, I was way too focused on having a relationship with this girl. I mean, I was thinking marriage, children, where we would live, and so on. And I had only been dating this girl for like one month. I mean, it was crazy. But at the time, I was pretty insecure about myself. And that is the main reason men do this. They're just not secure in their value that they bring to women. And there's nothing more dangerous and attractive to a woman than a man who confidently knows his value. So if you could avoid these six ways of over pursuing women while setting dates, having fun and leading her into the bedroom, then chances are you'll have a girl who's developing a growing attraction for you or maintaining her attraction and ultimately falling in love with you. So if you found this video worthy of a donation, you can find a link to my PayPal or Bitcoin wallet address in the description down below, or simply tap on the super thanks icon just below this video. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you wanna learn more ways to be ultra attractive to women. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one, bye-bye.